You're listening to the Mindset School Podcast, Episode 17. Hey friends, welcome to the Mindset School Podcast with Peggy Easterling, where we learn to smile authentically from the inside out. Hello, friends. I want to talk to you today about belief. The beliefs that we have are so important. Those belief systems take root in our life and they keep us from our destiny, our future, those goals, those visions, those dreams that God has for us. And I don't want you to stay stuck. I do not want you to stay stuck one more day. I want you to understand that your belief system matters. The way that you think of yourself and your identity is one of the most important pieces of your belief system. Do you believe that you are who God says you are? I know the thing repeated back in church where we say, I am who he says I am. I can be who he says I can be. I know, I know that. But do you, do you believe you are who God says you are? I want to read you something from scripture right now. Ephesians 2 verse 4 through 10. But God being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Do you believe this entire statement for yourself in your life, in your identity? I want to focus on one particular portion. And I've been studying this in another space as well. And I'm grateful for that Bible study. But I want you to see in verse 5 and 6. Made us alive together with Christ. By grace, we've been saved, raised up with him and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If you are a Christian believer and you believe you are seated in heavenly places with Jesus Christ, if you truly believe that statement, how much does it make your belief system change from the root up and uproot some thoughts that you have about yourself? your insecurity, your doubt, your disbelief, your inability to believe and think big for yourself, your inability to think that God has big goals and dreams for your life. Those things, that belief system is shook whenever you really begin to uproot that is when you believe that you are seated with Jesus Christ at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. I want you to take that in for a minute. Your focus changes. Reading that scripture and focusing on it, how can you possibly believe your insecurity is your only identity? I want you to really grasp this. My members have been getting so much momentum. 
in the Mindset School community. They have gained so much momentum on their mindsets. And we're doing a study right now called Five Steps to Level Up Your Mindset in the Community. And we're talking about how the importance of community and how we can use that space as iron sharpens iron opportunity to level up our mindset. And in doing so, we are doing just that. We are focusing on God's word and leveling up our mindset by aligning our thoughts with what God says about us. And there's no greater feeling than hearing a client tell me that they have in their hand the puzzle piece that they've been missing and they know now for themselves what they were missing and it's changed their lives. There's nothing greater than a life changed. I was willing to believe what God said about me. I'm willing to believe that I'm seated at his right hand with Jesus Christ in heavenly places. And all those doubts about myself and all those lies about myself and all those moments that I doubted who I was in Christ and believed the lies that Satan fed me for years and allowed him to steal decades of my life. I want you to know that phase of my life is over and no more. And if you don't have a community, where you are empowered, where you have that iron sharpens iron, Christian faith, supporting and loving you, I want you to know we welcome you. That people are getting in this community the puzzle pieces that they are missing for their own lives. I want you to know that I don't have every answer to every question, and I never will. But I have enough wisdom to know that there are wiser people to me that we will bring and gather into this space, and we will ask them questions and learn from their insight. I have enough wisdom to know that things are figure outable, and we can educate ourselves. I have enough wisdom to know that the Word of God is the most important space to connect ourselves with. And having that accountability in community to say, hey, I want to connect with the word of God more and I'm not doing it. Will you hold me accountable to do it more often? Well, and these beautiful women in this community are offering that to each other and it's bringing results in their lives. They have to take action and take the steps that God shows them the path and they have to take action in order to change. But we are supporting and loving each other on our journeys. And there's so much overcoming happening in this space. I'm so grateful for these women in my life. I'm so grateful that We are all on this journey together, growing our mindsets and aligning our thoughts with who God says we are one day, one step at a time. That support is priceless. So if you don't have that in your life, I want to invite you today. I want to stop everything and invite you in. If you would like to be a part of the Mindset School community, go to my website, themindsetschool.net. And at the top, there'll be a link to join the community. Belief is so important. I believe in you. These overcoming stories that we share in this space, on this podcast, are to strengthen your belief in Christ. But I believe in you. I believe that you can have everything that God says you can have. 
I'm praying for you for God to give you strength and courage to take your next step towards renewing your mind to believe you are in your identity who God says you are. Thanks for listening. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss an episode. If you like what you heard, I'd love to know. Leave us a review and share with a friend that could use an overcoming story so they can move closer to their purpose for their lives by renewing their mind the way God intended. I'm so excited. We have reached over 700 downloads in just 15 episodes. So when this one releases today, we will be well on our way to a thousand. So go subscribe. Make sure you don't miss out on this movement of the Mindset School. We are taking action to renew our minds the way that God intended. We are sharing our overcoming stories in this space and giving God all the glory. If you want to be a part of this movement, go like, share, and subscribe this podcast so that others can also listen and be a part of this amazing mindset movement. Leave a review and tell us what you think. We would love to hear from you. friends. Thank you for listening. You're now done with step one of growing together at the Mindset School. Head over to the mindsetschool.net and grab my free download where I share five tips when you can't hold it together anymore and continue your journey to smiling authentically from the inside out.